your board online board offline today we're bringing you an unboxing of tainted grail now this is a kickstarter that i was very excited about and since i've gotten it and i've played through chapter two now there's 15 chapters i believe in the base game i've played through chapter two at this point and now it is without a doubt one of my favorite solo games of all time one of my favorite games of all time this game is amazing Right now, I'm just going to show you the unboxing, but we're definitely going to have a how to play coming. We're going to have at least one gameplay coming. I might do one, you know, one gameplay for the base game, and then when the expansions show up next year, maybe one gameplay for each. Exp I don't know. I'm not, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm definitely going to share a good bit of this game with y'all. Before I say anything else, I do want to talk about our sponsor, Board Game Co. This is a website where you can go and buy, sell, and trade games over at Board Game Co. You can, uh, they have they have a great selection of games for you to buy from them. They're always looking to buy games from you as well. And you can trade games over there too. There's lots of different ways for you to adjust your collection. Board Game Co. makes it easy to buy, sell, and trade your way into a better collection. So be sure to click the link in the description below so they know that I sent you and go check out Board Game Co. Okay, without anything else, let's get right down into the, uh, the box and see what comes in Tainted Grail. All right, so here we've got Tainted Grail, the fall of Avalon. Now, up top, we've got what came in a, what was called a surprise box. Well, not this. This actually was just in the main box. This was a, uh, not a stretch goal, but an add-on that I picked. It's these metal coins that are going to replace these. Uh, the cardboard ones in the box, nice heavy metal coins. These are really cool. Um, and you can see the design on there. Very, very cool. I really, I mean, I, I don't even know what they're, what they're used for in the game, but just the coins themselves are probably worth the price just to have those. This came in the surprise box. Uh, it's for their next game. It has all kinds of really great artwork in here there's the artist by the way uh dominic meyer i believe is how it's pronounced and just has kind of so so this game is from what the description in the book says is going to be a one to four player a uh, cooperative space adventure basically um and i'm i have no idea anything about it is but it, it kind of has a little bit of a mass effect feel to me uh which is is Probably, if I was going to rank my video game favorites, Mass Effect, uh, the first three games in that series would be my all-time favorite games of all time, the all-time favorite series. See, uh, as you can see, um, Wonderful Players. So this will be their their next game that's coming to, I assume, Kickstarter, and it's going to be next year. I believe they said 2020. I think it's still what it said in here somewhere. Anyway. That's not what we're looking at today, but the artwork in there is just fantastic. It's a cool book to have as, uh, you know, obviously it's advertising for the next their next game, but it's more than advertisement. I mean, it is this art book that's, that's really nice, kind of almost a thank you for backing this one. This also came in a surprise box. This is the Almanac of Avalon. And you can see at the very front, you've got this map. And then, so you've got this whole section for everything that's on the east section of Avalon, it shows you the the Borough of Camelot, uh, Camelot itself, um, Br uh, Brock, Kretch, you know, Bandorka, all these different places. As you go through, uh, you go to the west, and and so you got all the locations. But then after you finish looking at the locations, then it gets into come on, Avalon's Curios. So you have animals and the alder tree and arcane accessories armory uh the the uh, minhirs and four dollar relics so and then at the very back the last thing you've got in here that explains the, the weirdness which is it plays a big role in the game but you've got dangers of the wilderness so here we've got our monsters, the Abertok, the Bog Maiden, Children of Weirdness, you know, the, the Slog, 
stag father followers so all that stuff in here lots of information on the world of tainted grill which is pretty cool all right so here is tainted grill itself uh here you got the designers down here awaken realms of course and all the stuff on the back four double layer uh trays eight high quality models 10 plastic dials 760 plus cars 200 plus pages of exciting story, eight adventure maps, and letters, and 110 markers and tokens. So let's get right into it. 15 chapters, two to three hours each, one to four players. Open and play, because I'm guessing there's an interesting area that just gets you right into it. 14 plus for the ages, and quick save. So let's do it. Start here. This open and play guide will help you set up and start your first single player adventure in Avalon and teach you all the basic game rules built for approximately an hour of play. It does not include any spoilers for the main campaign. That's pretty cool. Um, so you can see that is four pages of triple column to get you going in this first, you know, the first intro game. And then here's the rule book itself. So let's see what we've got. We start the actual rules. Page four. So it looks like page four to, that's an example. So we'll say page four to 20 is the actual rules for the game. And it, I mean, it looks pretty, pretty thick, pretty in depth. I mean, that's a lot of, a lot of text. So this is gonna be a, a, a intense one to really grok all the rules, but it is gonna be a really good time, I think. And then you got a rule summary on the back, which is always, always, a welcome addition to the, to the game. Okay, so here's the expiration journal. It has some extra protection on here. It's nice. Prevent it from... Let's see what we got to do here. All right, so obviously we don't want to go too deep into the expiration journal here. Let's just open it up real quick. Kind of just get an idea of what we're looking at. We recommend you take notes. Okay, so that gives you an idea of what, what you're gonna be looking at in here. We'll, we'll flip one more page. We don't wanna go too deep into this. So you can see all kinds of stuff. And, and it, it does go, I mean, how many pages is this? this is, doesn't have page numbers, so hard to say exactly how many pages. Tutorial exploration journal, okay. But you can see there is a lot going on in here. Okay, so these the, okay these are the five. I believe it, base game technically comes with four uh, four characters, and these look like. Letters that were sent to the main characters. Um, my dearest apprentice. This is for Aile from Niante, priestess of Quinoct. A rev, my friend from Fail, master huntsman of Quinoct. Maggot. <laughs> I loathe to write you, Maggot. Lord Yvain and Bayor from. Forge Master of Connacht. And then, of course, uh, uh, Niam, I believe, is was the one that was a um, expansion. Or did I think, I think I, I can't remember if she was just a Kickstarter stretch goal or if I actually paid extra for her. Um, but yeah. So those are like, those are letters that are kind of bringing them into the fold, bringing them into the game. 
these are this is just a map of the land i guess each player can have their own map all right so you got torn up a little bit there that's all right all right here is the save sheet like i said it has a quick save feature so that's what this is going to be for uh player notes Min here's quest style guardian. I guess these are for the each player character. And we're back. So different oh different statuses. You just you're checking them off. Different stuff that can happen during the story. A lot of those available too, so I'm not gonna run out of that anytime soon. Here we've got uh Neom. Scouting, Infamy, oops. A woman of many faces who never stays in one place for too long. Some remember her as a vile brigand and some as a mysterious warrior. There are even people who claim to have seen her decades ago when she was no older than she seems now. Oh, wow. All right, they've got a very functional insert here. Let's get into this real quick. All right, so, I mean, you can see the dual layer boards here. And this seems like, yeah, she pop, pops out right there. So, okay, so you can put any character there. So, for instance, there you go. So when you have expansion characters, they just drop right in. Okay. Obviously, the, the color here is meant for her, but um, so that would mean then that all of this stuff that you see here is all the same on each of these. So you have uh, green, then you've got uh, Bayor here who is blue. And you also read a quick little backstory for each of these. Uh, an outcast whose entire family perished in the weirdness. She makes a modest living supplying healing herbs and roots to the locals. And then Bayor, a local smith known for short, for her short temper and incredible strength, he does his best to conceal a festering, unhealable wound in his side that he received under mysterious circumstances. Maggot. A renegade of the Druidic Order whose innate powers are curbed by his destructive addiction to mixtures and mushrooms used by the Druids. And a Rev. A simple farmer with not so simple past. Years ago, as a young mercenary, he helped raise many villages and shrines to the ground. Now a mysterious curse follows him. So the whole idea here is that you are not heroes anybody would have chosen you're basically what's left you're the last hope and uh that's why you've got these guys they don't necessarily sound like they've got the the best background for being the heroes of the story okay look at this here we go so we've got the men here's and this this is the sun drop version of the game so they came with this just beautiful you know, wash already on them. So we have three different men here. I know that something that the game somehow involves uh, relighting or keeping the men here lit or something like that. There are these statues that are almost like guardians against the weirdness or something. Uh, standing around the the land and everything. So these are plastic. These are the plastic versions of those metal coins I showed you a second ago. And they go, as I understand, they slide in here and somehow based on their orientation has something to do with what's going on in the game. Sorry about the light. Yeah, that's a little better. There we go. That's better. All right. So you can see, yeah, it slides right in there. 
And again, the orientation has something to do with, with what's going on in the game, as I understand it. But of course, we'll get down into the rules and see exactly what that means. All right, so let's take a look at these dice real quick. All right, so we've got... This looks basically like a standard D6 with some fancy borders on it and everything. And this, though, east, north, west, and south, and then a blank and an X. Uh, let's finish looking at these guys first, I think. All right, no idea who this guy is. He's not one of the heroes. There we go, that's uh, Bayor. You actually see, I don't know if you can on camera, but there is a wound there in his side. And he's fit very tight down into this. There you go. Ale. A rev. Maggot. And Neom. Okay, so let's if, let's let's see what we got with these different cards and everything. So play reference cards, order of the day, action overview. Icon glossary, combat and diplomacy icons, enemy traits down at the bottom there, combat overview. Oh, so probably don't want to look at these too closely, but just look at, you can see the artwork on here. I mean, so cool, very detailed. The Quinoct farm hold. Chores of the townsfolk, I guess, is like an action you can take or something. And it shows you 103, 104, 105, 102, that the what would be next to it. So here's 102. So it would be like this. But we're obviously not going to go th through this and look too closely because we don't want to get some spoilers. Um, and then 103 would be like here. All right, so... I think all of this is terrain. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna look closely at that at all. What's it well, what's it look like on the back? Oh, and then you got okay, so a little more detail on the back about what you're looking at here. A deep feeling of loss fills everything in Quinoct. From dilapidated farms to the sunken eyes of those who remain in town, the men here in the market is all but extinguished, and everyone brave or resourceful enough has left to find a solution. So these secrets. So let's, let's definitely not look at those. Those are secrets and these. I 
maybe upgrade cards or something. Bounty Hunter, Expert Hunter, Insight, Resilience, Power of Ages, Total Focus. All right. So we got items. These are more secrets. So item cards here. We've got Rusty Sword, Poison Dagger, Adventurer's Kit, Sacred Incense, Snare, Wayfarer Leaves, All Mother's Tear, Witch's Bile. Nice. Hmm. Not sure where these are. Looks like. These have little hourglasses on them. And grails on them this I don't know more bags though lots of bags that's good because you see you got a bunch of bags in here too all right got cubes purple cubes lots of red cubes oh man and look at all these cards let's we're probably not gonna go through all these but let's see what we got here Open and play. Do not shuffle this card pack. Well, let's look. All right. Good weather. I'm, I'm actually not going to open any of these just in case there's specific ways this has to be done. Combat. Enrage. Yeah, this game has a very unique combat system, so I'm excited to get into that. And I'll be real excited to show y'all how all that works. Definitely doing at least one playthrough of this. Diplomacy. Commanding Tone. Advancement Pool. Combat. Listen in Silence. Revealed locations. Ancient knowledge. Encounter. The glade hair. Got three years. Encounter. Temptations. Visitors can indulge in many vices, none of them cheap or safe, all of them enticing. Oh, what did it say about the glade here? Though it can reach the size of a sheep, it is known for its elusiveness. And you are going insane. Bad news. Ingenious trap. Diplomacy, the tendon cut, or tendon cut. Okay. And nothing in the bottom. Okay, so there you go. That was Tainted Grail. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Be sure to come back and check for more Tainted Grail videos in the near future. Uh, we've got all kinds of good stuff coming. I believe uh, we've got uh, a tapestry how to play coming up soon. I know my top 20 most played games of all time based on the number of hours played is coming up soon. So check all that out. Be sure to go over and check out our Patreon and support us over there if you'd like to. And until next time, if you're bored online, bored offline.